G'day YouTube, 1MJ here and welcome back to my channel. Well, I guess the big story of today at least is Wi-Fi or Yiffy, whatever you want to call it. I don't know exactly how you pronounce it, but it is now worth more than Bitcoin. So in a very short amount of time, it has gone from, I think it was about $34 when it originally came out back in July, and now it's worth $13,444. So that is quite a move and uh, pretty impressive. But there's things you need to know about that. There's only 30,000 coins in total from uh, Wi-Fi. So that has more to do with it than anything else. It's not so much that, you know, it, its total market cap is now outsourcing Bitcoin. It's not. It's just because it's got because it's got such a limited supply that it's gone so high. But that is still pretty impressive uh, that it is, you know, gone from $34 to over 13000 And I think when we go down here, it said something like a 10 x in a month. That is pretty good. I haven't had anything that's 10 x yet. And uh, again, I got back in March after the, uh, the crash. So, you know, for that to do it in a month, uh, quite impressive. Uh, you know, being a new uh, sort of program uh, that's out, I'm still not so much skeptical because I wouldn't say I'm skeptical, but I just wanted to wait and see, you know, if it's got some sort of history behind it, uh, you know, and whether it's something that's going to last. But I mean, a lot of people have got into it. A lot of money has been put into a Wi-Fi for sure. And now they've gone into the finance uh, platform as well. So uh, they're doing well. And anyone who got in early enough, particularly around that $30 mark, back in July, well, they'll be laughing all the way to the bank right now, doing quite well. So there you go, you can basically see the chart there. What a move it's made, congratulations. Let's go over to CoinGecko and have a look. So again, the market cap, uh, we're up a little bit from yesterday, it was around 377 billion. So we're up to uh, 378 billion, still down from the 380 something billion that we got to. And we were sort of pushing our way towards that, you know, $400 billion mark. But as we can see, a little bit of green within the last sort of hour or so for a few things. In the 24 hours though, as you go down, most things were basically sort of in the red. There wasn't a whole lot of movement. But let's click on and see what did move in 24 hours. So OMG Network, Yearn Finance, obviously they just keep going. Uh, NXM, Algorand, uh, I'm pretty happy with how my Ag Algorand's doing at the moment. Uh, I didn't put a lot into Algorand at the time, but I put a little bit and I think I'm up over 100%. So I've doubled my money. I can't complain. Carver, uh, they're doing well. They did have a fairly steep pullback though uh, when the you know the downturn happened uh, for the last few days. And you can see it over here. They pumped up and then they kind of sold off uh, and have started to kind of recapture some of that straight away. Very similar to Synthetics Network. They both had uh, similar kind of moves. Energy Web Token, uh, I might have to do some more research into that. Uh, it's looking like it might be pretty valuable. Uh, but yeah, again, I haven't done enough, but I have heard a lot of people uh, on uh, Twitter and YouTube talking about it. So I might have to yeah do some more looking into that. And maybe I might, you know, make a position. But, you know, it's pumped up a little bit as well but again so it pumped up fell off and it's quickly regaining a lot of those losses as well block stack uh you know up and down on block stack i think i'm up overall but i mean it hasn't skyrocketed or anything like that so we'll have to wait wait and see but yeah basically everything's just sort of trading sideways well not everything that's not true as we've just seen here not everything's trading sideways but the bigger ones are trading sideways a little bit so if we go back to just the numbers well, let's go back to number one so as we can see not a lot's really happening with bitcoin uh and ethereum and things like that they are just kind of trading sideways uh, you know pumped up and fell back down to old sort of uh key levels that we had very similar to ethereum pumped up and it's still a little bit higher but getting down towards some uh you know previous kind of support uh much the same as xrp had a good pump up uh and again so it's now sitting down around that 29 cent mark it was up around the kind of 30 31 cents there for a little while but lastly we go over here and we have a look at the chart and so we had this little sort of uh, wedge here, ascending triangle, uh, and it's broke out. So today was the day it broke out. It could have broke out a couple more days, and I was wondering how it was going to break out. 
whether it was just going to punch through the top and you know get up to that twelve and a half thousand dollar level or whether we might sell off or just trade sideways and at the moment it's trading sideways but what we can see is i'll put in a little bit of a trend line so we can really see that there is some sort of you know support round about there bitcoin has spent a lot of time here it's bounced off it a number of times uh so it's a, a bit more resistance really than it is anything else so it's kind of that what do we got eleven thousand eight hundred dollar range that's where we've really been for a while uh, and look it's hard to say what it's going to do at the moment as we can see the volume's low at the moment and we are getting close to the weekend uh you know and traditionally on weekends the market you know has a bit of a retracement not always though there's definitely weekends where it can do the complete opposite and you know really push through but that's kind of the line at the moment that we've really been struggling with it's not the twelve thousand dollar mark it's been more around this eleven thousand eight hundred eleven thousand nine hundred dollar mark but you know we can push this up a little bit to there and as you can see more around that eleven thousand oh, stay there please so more around that kind of eleven thousand eight hundred dollar mark that's really the kind of key for us at the moment you know it looked like we were going to use it as support there for a little bit even these little wicks were kind of bouncing off it but you know now it does seem to be more resistance again so we'll just have to wait and see i'm still bullish on bitcoin and again i i, I wouldn't even be too worried if we came back down to test that ten thousand five hundred dollar level obviously if we started to push through that you know as long as we bounced off this trend line i still wouldn't be too worried because this is our 50-day moving average so we're still well above the 50-day moving average this is our 100-day moving average we're well above that and even if we were to push back inside this uh major trend line really as long as we didn't go below the uh 200-day moving average I, I would still remain bullish but I would start to get concerned once we broke back through this trend line and I would definitely be concerned if we broke through the 200 day moving average, that would be concerning. But in most bull runs, and again, there's only been a couple of bull runs in Bitcoin's life, so it's not like we have a lot of history to go off, but in bull runs, usually the 200 day moving average has been you know a, a hard spot for bitcoin to uh fall through you know if it hasn't bounced off the 50 day moving average or the 100 day moving average when it's had retracements it has bounced off the 200 day moving average a number of times so it wouldn't be until we got through the 200 day moving average that i'd really be worried and again i'm more one thinking we're probably going to trade sideways a little bit maybe you know again i said it before i'm thinking we might come down and retest the eleven thousand, maybe to eleven thousand kind of 200 300 range somewhere in here you know there's been sort of resistance and support here so this is more what i'm looking for around here the eleven thousand two hundred dollar range i wouldn't be surprised if we came back down and tested it now it might take a while you know it could take us a while to kind of sell off to get over here and then i'm expecting us to kind of bounce and then start to make our move back up but again i thought we were going to retrace earlier uh, and we did the complete opposite pumped up uh, and then sold off and again now we are stuck at that eleven thousand eight hundred dollar range it really is uh it's more resistance it has been some support very briefly but more resistance and more resistance sorry than anything so that's the sort of key that we really need to break and again, even if we can break this, we've already seen here, we have to be able to break that $12,500 mark or at least have a candle that really comes up and sort of closes on that mark. Because at the moment, all we've done is sort of wicked up to there. So we haven't even really tested that $12,500 level. So should we be able to make some support on this uh, $11,800 range? Again, we need to be able to push through. And, you know, we can bounce off the $12,500 level as long as it's a full candle body and we're not just wicking up to it. But, yeah, I don't want to go over it too many times. I am sort of suspecting that we're going to come more back down to around this $11,300, $11,200 range and find some support here before we make our move back up. But time will tell. I've been wrong before and, you know, I can't tell the future. All I can go by is what I'm sort of seeing in the charts, the volume and things like that. And that's what, what I'm thinking at this stage. 
Well, that's it for me. I'm not going to take up too much time. It is a little bit late here. I apologise. I was uh, watching a rugby league game uh, and my team got up, so I don't regret watching that game. And that's why I'm putting out a video so late and don't have as much time as I'd like to put into it. But stay safe. Be kind to one another. Hopefully you're on that game train. And I'll see you next time.